Hello everyone and welcome to Prime AE's New Hire Onboarding. Today we have a set agenda and goals. First and foremost, welcome to Prime AE Group. We are very excited to have you as a part of our family here. Throughout this presentation, we are going to review the company's growth, history, our mission, vision, and value as well as talk about our corporate culture and work environment. We are also going to review any benefits and resources that are available to you and tools and resources that you're gonna to need to get started. Meet Kumar, our president and CEO of Prime AE Group. Kumar supports a work culture that centers on client satisfaction and employee retention, and often spends time in each of our firm's offices. Kumar is located at our Baltimore, Maryland office, which is our headquarters, but you'll see him floating around each of our office locations. Now for an overview of Prime. Here's a snapshot of all of our office locations. As you can see, we have 18 offices in nine states and just shy of 500 employees. We're pretty much located all around the Eastern Seaboard. Baltimore, Maryland is our headquarters. Um, our two largest offices are actually Baltimore, Maryland, and Ohio, around 115 employees to date, and growing fast. You'll also notice in the next few slides that Prime grows through acquisition. Through acquisitions, we are able to expand the services that we offer to our clients, as well as expand the array of benefits and resources that we can offer for our employees. Here's a timeline of our mergers and acquisitions to date. In just a few Primate E rankings, our marketing team does a wonderful job of keeping us out there and nominated for these awards. And on a local scale, and just a few company awards. Okay, so now getting into our mission and vision. So our mission at Prime is to enhance, maintain, and improve our communities in a responsible manner using innovative, sustainable, and sound architectural and engineering principles. Our vision is to provide quality, results-oriented, value-added services in architecture, engineering, construction management, surveying, and other supplemental service areas. Now for our core values, just a few things here that we're passionate about. First and foremost, honesty and integrity, providing the highest quality service to our clients, taking responsibility and being fully engaged in every project, striving to be the best in the industry. We have quite a few awards to hold to that. Displaying urgency to our clients' needs, being proactive in every aspect of our work, protecting our environment, maintaining perspective, 
And lastly, enjoying our work and celebrating our success. So we take our job seriously, but we also like to have fun and enjoy our peers, our coworkers, um, and celebrate all of the success that we've done. Um, you will notice throughout our office locations, we have committees. Uh, so the committees, we work on planning different local scale events. Uh, so maybe that's a chili cook-off. Maybe that's a specific holiday event, like a uh, glee sweater contest, or maybe it's a bake-off. Uh, so you will notice at each office location, we have a lot of fun events all throughout the year. From a company-wide standpoint, we work on um, doing things around Prime's birthday, which is in July. Upcoming is our 15-year um, birthday. So we always try to make sure that we do something special company-wide on that day, as well as an annual company holiday party towards the end of the year. Definitely keep an eye out for any updates to our company-wide calendar, um, as we will have a lot of events coming out in the near future. Now for our four C's. So our four C's are our pillars, connecting, creating, conserving, and community. So as you can see here, Prime AE connects our employees, their respective visions, and collective abilities to create innovative solutions for our clients and communities that ensure the conservation of our internal and natural resources through the application of sustainable design practices. The four C's is something that we try to implement throughout every day, every project that we're doing, um, throughout our lives at home, um, and with each other in the workplace. Just a few ideas of how the four C's can be a part of your day at Prime. Connecting could be a company event where you're connecting with your peers. Creating could be designing innovative solutions for completing a project. Conserving, maybe that's an energy audit at your work office. And community, getting out there and volunteering and getting involved and giving back in the community. The four C's, these are words that we live by. At Prime AE, we're committed to a positive and relaxed corporate culture that promotes diversity, community involvement, and teamwork. We have a very extensive list of charitable organizations that we like to plan events with, um, definitely facilitating volunteer, volunteer work, teaching, and sponsorships. We actually have a partnership with Habitat for Humanity. So if there's an event that you're interested in starting with them, definitely reach out to our HR team. Or if there's a charitable organization that you're passionate about in your local area, let us know and we can help you plan that event. And here's some fun pictures of us at Prime giving back to the community. And fun times at Prime. So like I said, we like to have fun at Prime. We do lots of different celebrations throughout the year. Just a few in these pictures you can see. We've got a St. Patrick's Day party, Super Bowl party, golf outings, uh, definitely some ugly sweater contests going on. Meet our core leadership team. We have Kurt Bergman, our executive chairman from New Hold Group. Kumar, our president and CEO. Shayman, our CFO. Pam Butzinger, our CPO. Mindy Hensley, she oversees our marketing and communications department. Steve Musciano, general counsel. 
Jen Silverstein, our Chief of Staff. And now we have our leadership broken down by each business line. For architecture and engineering, our Senior Vice President that leads the entire National Architecture and Engineering Department is Dana Mitchell. And Bob Schlesinger, he oversees our federal programs. Transportation, we have Sam Minetti as our National Transportation Lead. CMCI and Survey, this stands for Construction Management, Construction Inspection and Survey. Very long, so we just call it CMCI for short. This is led by Joe Warino. Water Resources, Terry Hogan is our SVP. And for Southeast, we have Brad Davis. Okay, and just a few faces to put to the names here that we just went over. To highlight our portfolio, I will go through each of our services from our business lines. Starting with transportation, we work with bridge designs and inspection, traffic engineering, quality assurance, design, build, and alternative delivery, and retaining walls and noise barriers. Water resources, we work with hydraulic hydrology studies and analysis, water treatment, distribution and storage, utility and drainage design, and dam design. For construction management, inspection, and surveying, we work with water and wastewater systems, contract management, claims management, materials testing, and land surveying and architecture and facilities engineering. This pretty much covers it all. So from architecture and engineering, MEP, roof and envelope consulting, feasibility studies, master planning and programming, and building information modeling. Now to jump into benefits. If you're a full-time employee, which means you're working at least 30 hours a week, you're eligible for our full comprehensive benefit package. If you're a part-time employee working at least 25 hours a week, you can enroll in our medical insurance plan. If you're an intern or you're a part-time employee, you can take advantage of our 401k plan regardless how, of how many hours you work per week. Now for a quick overview of our comprehensive benefit plans before we dive in a little bit deeper. At Prime, we're committed to your physical health. We offer three different types of medical plans, a dental plan, vision, disability insurance, life with AD&D, workers' compensation, a health savings account option, flexible spending accounts, and a 401k plan. We also value your work-life balance and want to offer you assistance with your professional development. At Prime, we do offer a tuition assistance program. If you've been at Prime for at least six months, you can apply. Just let us know in HR that you're interested if you're here for at least six months and we can provide you with further steps. We also offer a certification and licensure reimbursement program which you can take advantage of right away day one at Prime. Maybe you wanna get your PE license or something within your field to help further your development at work. Let us know in HR and we can give you the appropriate instructions. In addition to that, we do offer a professional organization membership reimbursement. 
On Fridays, we like to keep it pretty casual. During the week, it is business casual, but on Fridays, you can wear jeans. At Prime, we also offer paid time off to help assist you with your work-life balance and refreshing. On a quarterly basis, we do celebrate anniversaries, birthdays, and professional achievements. And lastly, we have tickets at work. So this is completely free for you to use, and you can take advantage of this regardless of being part-time or full-time. And I will send you instructions after this presentation on how you can get started with this tickets at work benefit. You will get be provided a link to their website to create an account if you're interested. And you can take advantage of discounts on hotels, amusement parks, concerts, etc. Our medical and pharmacy carrier is Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shields. They're one of the largest carriers in the nation. Through Anthem, we have three plan offerings available. The first two listed here, the base and the buy down, are both high deductible health plans, which means you can use an HSA with these plans or a limited purpose flexible spending account. You could also use the HSA and the FSA together with the base and the buy down plan. Now with high deductible plans, you have to meet your annual copay before the plan pays 100% for itself. So that means you're gonna be paying 100% of the cost until you meet your annual deductible. However, preventative care services are covered for you at 100%. The buy-up plan is your more conventional plan with a copay for each doctor's visit. So since this is not a high deductible plan, you can't have an HSA. However, we do have a flexible spending account option, which is still gonna give you those pre-tax savings that you would have with a health savings account. Now, if you're not familiar with how HSAs and FSAs work, they're very similar in the fact that they're both going to lower your taxable income. Each pay period, you're going to set aside a predetermined amount for a deduction uh, pre-tax, so you're getting those pre-tax savings into those funds. Those funds you can use for um, doctor's appointments, co-pays, prescriptions. You'll be mailed a debit card after you make your enrollment within 10 days, and you can use this debit card to take with you to your appointments to pay for those um, maybe out-of-pocket services or, again, your co-pays and your prescriptions. Now, the health savings account is a plan that is portable. So you can take this account with you from employer to employer. You can use it after you retire from Medicare expenses. You can also use it for an investment vehicle in the stock market. Your HSA funds are always with you because it's your savings account, unless, of course, you start using the funds. Now, with a flexible spending account, this is a plan that you have to reelect each year during open enrollment. So you have until the end of the year to use up all the funds left in your account. If you have funds left in your account at the end of the year that you're not using, they will be forfeited. So it's very important when you're making your benefit election that you predetermine, make a rough estimate of how often you think maybe you go to the doctor, do you have any procedures planned this year, um, how much do you really think you're going to need in that flexible spending account. So that way, you don't have funds left in your account at the end of the year. Through Anthem, you have access to the largest national preferred provider in the nation. PNC is the bank that we use for a health savings account. If you currently have a health savings account that you'd like to continue using with another bank, just let us know in HR 
and we can get that set up for you as a direct deposit. We'll just need your current accounting and routing number. If you'd like to enroll in the PNC one with Prime, but end up rolling over your current balance from another bank, uh, just let us know in HR and we can send you the appropriate information. London Health Administrators is the carrier that we use for our flexible spending accounts. Now, if you need to find a provider through Anthem, you can always check out their website. They also have an amazing app called the Sydney Health app, where you can create a login, see the doctors in your, in your area. Um, you can create a file on there to start tracking your doctor's visits and in your health file. Um, they have recommendations on, you know, reducing stress levels and wellness and mental health. So I definitely encourage you to check that out. Now on to our flexible spending account option. So we have three here. The first one is your healthcare FSA. So this covers medical, dental, and vision expenses incurred by you and or your dependents. So this can be used to pay for your co-pays, uh, deductible, co-insurance, or any out-of-pocket expenses. This specific healthcare FSA can be used in conjunction with the Buy Up Medical Plan. So the Buy Up Medical Plan is your regular PPO with a copay for each doctor's visit. The Limited Purpose Flexible Spending Account covers dental and vision expenses only. And this can be used in conjunction with the base and the buy down high deductible health plans. Now, because with the base and the buy down plans, you're already eligible for a health savings account the IRS sets limits on how much pre-tax savings you can have. So this is why the limited purpose FSA only covers dental and vision expenses. So with this, you could technically have a health savings account and an FSA with the base or the buy down plan and double your tax savings. We typically wouldn't recommend this scenario unless you think you're going to maximize your annual contribution amount with your HSA account. If you think that's the case for you, um, then this might be a good scenario for you to set aside pre-tax savings into a flexible spending account to use for dental and vision expenses. For example, maybe you have children who need to get braces this year. That's usually um, a type of expense where you know ahead of time how much that's gonna cost you throughout the year. So you can set aside those funds and not have to worry about having anything left in your FSA towards the end of the year. Now our dependent care, this can be um, elected by itself without enrolling in any medical insurance. And the dependent care is used for um, funds to contribute towards day camps, daycare, preschool programs, um, maybe after school summer programs. It could even be used for care for disabled parent or spouse. Now, to reiterate, this plan cannot be used for medical expenses. The dependent care is solely for care. So maybe a disabled parent or spouse, it's for um, a nursing facility, um, not necessarily a medical expense. And again, you cannot change your payroll deduction amount for an FSA until, um, unless you have some sort of qualifying life event. So a qualifying life event could be maybe a marriage, a birth of a child, um, or a divorce. So make sure, again, that you estimate how much you really think you're going to use in your FSA annually before you submit your election. Now, with the health savings account, because that's your account for life, <laughs> unless you close it, of course, you can change your contribution amount at any time. So maybe with an HSA, you want to start out small and just do $20 per pay period. A month later, you want to up it to $100. You can do that.
Now, Guardian is our carrier for dental and accident insurance, and our accident insurance is much like Aflac, so I'm sure you've probably seen those commercials. It's financial coverage in the event that you get in some sort of unforeseen accident. So maybe you happen to, you know, sprain your ankle um, and you need to go to an urgent care or an ER to get care. If you're in a high deductible plan like the base or the buy down and you haven't met your annual deductible, you're going to be paying for that x-ray out of pocket. And that can be pretty pricey for emergency care. So the accident insurance is really nice benefit to have for some peace of mind. Essentially, um, Guardian will send you a lump sum of cash to pay for any out-of-pocket medical expenses um, that you need to use, or it could be used for, you know, paying for your bills, groceries, your rent, your car payment. So it doesn't have to just be medically related. So maybe if you're very accident prone or you have children that play sports and are always getting injured, uh, this might be a good plan for you. and our vision plan. Here we have a few vision highlights. VSP is also a very large network, so you shouldn't have um, too much trouble finding them. They're in a lot of retail chains. Now, all of our benefits here that we're going through are all a cart. So you don't have to have medical insurance to get vision or to get dental. Um, if you just want vision insurance, you can just have vision insurance. Moving on to disability insurance, this is covered through Lincoln Financial Group. This is 100% employee paid benefit. So what that means is if you elect short-term or long-term disability, that deduction comes out of your paycheck post-tax. So if you were to ever have to use your disability insurance, when you receive that disability check from Lincoln, it's not going to be subject to income tax. So it's going to be a far richer benefit for you because you paid post-tax on your paycheck deduction. Now, short-term and long-term disability, this is going to be your salary continuation in the event that you're not able to work due to an illness or an injury. So short-term disability is going to cover you for up to six months of being out of work. That's going to be approximately 66.67% of your paycheck. And long-term disability covers you um, after you've already been out of work for six months. So if you elect these benefits together, um, after your short-term disability ends, if you've exhausted the whole benefit leave amount of six months, and you still need care under long-term disability, you'll flow right over to long-term after that six-month mark. And your long-term disability is going to cover approximately 60% of your paycheck. Now, I do recommend that you elect these benefits together, but at the very least, you should definitely consider electing short-term disability because, uh, again, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, so it's a nice peace of mind thing to have. For life in AD&D, this is also provided by Lincoln Financial Group. If you're a full-time employee, Prime AE provides you basic life in AD&D automatically, a $50,000 policy. Now, there's nothing you need to do to initiate this. You'll see when you go through your benefits enrollment that you will automatically be signed up for basic life in AD&D, a $50,000 in coverage. If you're interested in electing a voluntary amount on top of the 50000 you can do so now during new hire enrollment. You can also receive a guaranteed issue amount of up to $150,000 of life insurance without having to submit any evidence of insurability forms. So this means you're not going to have to complete a physical, um, answer questions about your health history. You will just automatically be approved. 
You can also elect amounts for your spouse or your children. However, you do have to have uh, elected a policy for yourself um, if you're interested in also having coverage for a dependent. Our 401k plan is through Fidelity Investments. You can start contributing into your retirement account immediately with your first paycheck at Prime. And again, remember, if you're part-time or you're an intern, you can still take advantage of this benefit. This is the one benefit that is elected a little differently. So with your 401k plan, you will want to register directly through Fidelity's website. One of our HR representatives will send you an email on your first day with information containing a link on how you can register for your Fidelity account. At Prime, we offer up to a 4% match. If you're here for at least six months, you'll qualify for that match. And this will happen automatically, so there's nothing you need to do to initiate this. We always recommend to employees to contribute at least 5% of their salary to receive the full 4% match. How we get this calculation is Prime AE will match a dollar for dollar of the first 3% that you contribute and 50% of the next 2% that you contribute. You can have rest assured peace of mind knowing if you're contributing at least 5% of your salary, you will receive the full 4% match. Now, in our 401k plan, it is a safe harbor match, so you're 100% vested immediately. A new benefit we have this year is called ProsperWise Financial Coaching, and this is through our broker, Marsh MMA. Your first day, you'll receive a packet with this information on how you can schedule your session with a financial coach through ProsperWise. And again, this is a benefit uh, you can take advantage of regardless of whether you're part-time or full-time. Prosper Weiss Financial Coaching, um, these are fiduciaries. So they're not making money off of the investments um, you're reviewing with them. So they're going to give you genuine advice on what's going to be the best for you, not what's going to be the best going into their pocket. They can also give you advice aside from 401k plans on maybe which debt you should pay off first, your student loans, or maybe you want to start a college savings fund for your children. So the list is very extensive on the amount of information they can give you um, regarding your finances. And they have plenty of financial coaches. So if you get advice from one and you want to try out another one as well, um, or book with the same person, you know, a week later, you can do that. We have personal time off PTO that we offer for all full-time employees. On the right, you'll see a PTO schedule, which is based off of your years of service. So your PTO will begin accruing immediately with each pay period, and it also increases with years of service. So if you're starting out at the first year, 15 days or 120 hours per year, that's going to be equivalent to less than a year of service, and you'll accrue 4.62 hours per pay period. Our PTO is based off of your anniversary date, not the calendar year. So if your anniversary date is May 23rd, on May 23rd the following year, you'll advance to the next year because that'll be your first year with Prime. So you'll be at 16 days of PTO. And the next year, on May 23rd, you'll be at 17 days, so on and so forth. One thing to keep in mind is if you're starting out at a higher PTO tier, let's say maybe 18 days of PTO, that's equivalent to three years of service. So you would need to wait until your three-year anniversary before your PTO will advance to the next level. One thing to keep in mind is your annual cap. So if your PTO balance is 15 days per year or 120 hours, 
that's your annual cap. So you won't ever accrue above that. You wanna keep an eye on making sure you're not hitting your cap throughout the year, because if you do, you'll miss out on um, accruals. For example, if it comes to your anniversary date on May 23rd of 2023, and you have 120 hours already in your bank, you'll be safe for one pay period because you'll be um, getting an extra eight hours of PTO added to your balance. So you'd be at 128 hours annually. But the next pay period, if you don't take any PTO, you would have hit your cap. So you would have missed out on an accrual. So just keep in mind how much your PTO balance is. Um, if you're getting close to your cap, that's probably a sign that you should start taking some time off <laughs> and refresh. Now, our PTO is essentially a rolling cap. So you don't have to fill out any forms to request a rollover of PTO or worry about losing out on your PTO at the end of the year. It essentially rolls over on your anniversary date each year if you have any PTO that was unused. You will use Deltec, our timesheet entry system, to view your PTO balances um, whenever you need to. I suggest keeping it keeping an eye on it um, bi-weekly or at least a couple times a month. You can also view your PTO balances on your pay stubs in ADP. Prime AE offers eight holidays throughout the year that are paid for full-time employees. The last holiday listed here, the team member's choice, this is a floating holiday. So you can have complete flexibility in using this holiday whenever you'd like. So maybe it's your birthday or the day after the Super Bowl. It's completely up to you. Um, so definitely uh, take advantage of that. If a holiday ends up falling on a Saturday or a Sunday, we will recognize it the day before, so a Friday or the day after, a Monday. Moving on to tools. So we have two separate systems that you'll want to be aware of. ADP is the system that you've done your onboarding paperwork through. So you, you'll use ADP to elect your benefits in, uh, view your pay stubs, any benefit information, or update your personal info. So your direct deposit, maybe it's your taxes you want to take a look at or your contact information. It's very self-service, so you can do this all through the ADP portal. They also have a very convenient app that you can download, so you can um, check out your pay stubs on the go. Celtec Vision is where you will enter your timesheets each week, and you will receive your username and password timesheet entry instructions, as well as expense report instructions from our payroll team um, within the first few day, first two days of your starting with Prime. Along with your timesheet instructions, payroll will also send you any project codes, billing groups, or labor codes that you'll need to enter. At Prime, we submit our timesheets every Friday by 10 a.m. so payroll can process it in the afternoon. Our work week runs from Saturday to Friday. Like I said, you can also check your PTO balance in Dell Tech. Deltec also has a mobile app for you to use. So if it's more convenient, maybe you work out in the fields or you're always traveling for work, um, this might be a great opportunity for you to download this app and submit your timesheets or your expense reports on the go. If you have any questions about submitting your timesheets or expense reports, feel free to reach out our, to our payroll team, Caroline Tang or Chloe Chen.
For finance support, we have Jesse Liao for purchase requests and accounts payable. In general payroll inquiries, you can reach out to Chloe Chen or Caroline Tang. Friday eat office hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Now, of course, this schedule kind of varies depending on your department or your project load, different projects you're working on within your department. So I encourage you to talk to your supervisor on your first day on what schedule you guys want to work out. On your first day, you'll also receive a security badge. So this badge you'll use to get in through the front doors of the office each morning. And if you happen to come into the office outside of normal business hours, you'll need your badge to get in. At the office, we have printers where you'll need to use your security badge. So your security badge will essentially um, allow you to print on any office printer at any office location. To access documents and policies in ADP, as soon as you log in, you'll see a box that says Quick Links on the home page. At the bottom, there's a link to our company policies, such as our handbook, our safety manual, PTO policy, etc. So this library is available to you 24-7 to access and download or print these PDFs. We also have a box that says Forms and this is dedicated to our benefit and payroll forms. Some corporate support services contacts. Krista Rhodes, she runs our company fleet here at our Columbus, Ohio office. Human resources, we have Karen Ferguson, our HR business partner. Jay Seacrest, our HR manager of comp and benefits and Maddie Qualls, our HR generalist. For recruiting, we have Janine Grego and Vonda Price. Definitely let those ladies know if you have a referral, um, a candidate that you think would be a great fit for one of our open positions, um, send them their resume and let them know that you referred them. Marketing, we have Mindy Hensley and Tracy Puller. For legal, we have Steve Musciano. And our IT services are all in-house. So if you ever need to submit a ticket, you can email primeit at primeng.com. Payroll, Chloe Chen and Caroline Tang. And office supplies. Your receptionist will be able to order any specific office supplies that you may need. If you travel for work, you can always make these arrangements yourself. But if you prefer to have some help, Michelle Phipps, at our uh, Baltimore, Maryland office can help you schedule your flights, your rental cars, uh, or even book a hotel. If you work at the Pensacola office, Cindy Plaskett or Becky Gibson would be your contacts for travel arrangements. Next step, make sure prior to your first day at Prime that you complete all of your onboarding paperwork in ADP. In addition, please bring in your I-9 documents with you. For questions on which I-9 documents you can bring in, look at page three of your I-9 form in ADP. For example, this could be a passport, a social security card with a driver's license, a social security, or sorry, a birth certificate with a driver's license. On your first day when you come in, you'll be greeted by either the office receptionist or your supervisor. They'll give you an office tour. Your IT equipment will have instructions on how to get logged in. Please be sure to complete your new hire bio form and ADP document. Uh, which you'll be prompted to do through the onboarding portal prior to your first day, and send HR your headshot. This information is going to be used 
for your new hire announcement. After your first day and we receive your I-9 documents, we will fully onboard you in ADP and you'll receive a notification to your email that you can start electing your benefits in ADP if you're a benefit eligible employee. In addition, you will receive a summary of benefit packet information and fidelity registration instructions from one of your HR representatives. And to finish up this presentation, here's some fun pictures of our employees at Prime. Make sure to follow us on social media. We have a Facebook, a LinkedIn, a Twitter, and an Instagram. This way you can keep up to date on all the fun stuff going on at Prime. And of course, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your HR team. We have Karen Ferguson, our HR business partner, Jay Seacrest, our human resources manager of comp and benefits, Maddie Qualls, our HR generalist, and Pam Butzinger, our chief people officer. And that concludes our presentation for the day. We're so excited to have you start with us at Prime.